Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. My family left for Canada yesterday, so it's been like weirdly quiet, but I'm like using this time to like be as productive as possible because usually the house is like insanely crazy. And I have some wedding updates to share and I just wanted to film like a wedding video in the wedding series because I feel like it's been a while after Ramadan, like I haven't really shared any updates with you guys. I have our wedding invitations, my wedding guest book, and then my wedding shoes, like my actual, I know I showed you guys like my Jimmy shoes, which I'm wearing for like all the pictures and stuff, but I have my like comfortable wedding shoes that I'm gonna be wearing all night with both of my dresses. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. And then tomorrow I'm headed to Houston for my bridal fitting for both of my dresses. So I'm gonna take you guys along for a little bit of that without like sharing the dresses. I'll just do some like sneak peeks. <laughs> starting to look into wedding invitations and you have like no idea where to start because there are just so many to choose from and then there's so many different types of paper it's just it can get kind of overwhelming minted offers a wedding concierge so you can do a free 30 minute virtual consultation with a minted expert and they'll walk you through all of the um, wedding offerings that minted has and then different products and just like helpful tips. Choose an appointment time and a date that works for you and then you can talk to them about literally anything. Even if you like like one of their invitations but you wanna like tweak things, um, like maybe add a few things that are personalized to you, they can like walk you through how to do that. I knew I wanted something simple and like super minimal and elegant um, and really good quality paper. I found a wedding suite that I really liked on Minted when I was like looking through them. It's called A Thousand Years and here is what it looks like. Here is the envelope. You have the option to input your address book um, on the Minted website whenever you're personalizing your invitations so that you don't have to go back and write the addresses on the invitation. They will already do it for you. And then the return address is on the back. Now, obviously with our invitations, I've shared the date of our wedding. So I'm gonna be covering a few things, but this is what it looks like we have three different papers and they're held together by this belly band that says A&M. It's so funny because Muhammad and I went to A&M and that's where we met and that's our like initials together. When you take this belly band off, there are three papers in here. I'm gonna start with the most important one, which is the actual invitation. Here's what the invitation looks like. This is a letterpress wedding invitation. The paper type is premium 100% cotton, and we did personalize this a little bit with the Arabic writing at the top. It says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And because this is an adult only reception and we are not inviting children, we put at the very bottom, adult only reception. Then we have two different cards with the invitation. So the first one is the details and it's like the accommodations and how to park. We got two different hotel blocks so our guests can stay, uh, out of town guests can stay for a discounted rate, so it like, explains how to book that. And then this is an RSVP card. We are going to write how many um, people the invitation is for. So if like, we're sending it to a family and we're only inviting two, we'll put two on there. Okay, let's talk wedding website. I love our wedding website. I created it through Minted, and I wanna like give you guys some tips on what you should include in your wedding website. I created the website through Minted and this design is the one that matches our wedding invitations. The first page is just a picture of us. Please join us for our wedding celebration on September 3rd. We have 86 days, like how? It's so crazy. I did a little story of how we met at the bottom and that is just the main page. Then on the menu tab, um, there's an RSVP tab. So if people click RSVP, They'll just type in their name, find RSVP, and then they'll be able to say that they're coming or not. And then gallery, this was fun. I just added like uh, the video of our um, save the dates and then all of our pictures, even like our um, engagement pictures that we took forever ago. And I feel like we look like babies there. Like it's so crazy. So people can like scroll through those if they want to. The events tab is just the information for the wedding, like saying when it is and where it is. Under travel is the um, information to book the hotels. So it like says where the hotels are and then when the cutoff for booking with the discount is. And then gift registry, we're registering with Bed Bath & Beyond. 
but I haven't finished that yet. And then Q&A, this is the fun part. So I'm just gonna tell you guys like how I answered these questions and maybe they'll be helpful if you are getting married and you need to create a wedding website. So what time does the wedding start? The wedding starts at 6 p.m. sharp, doors will close at 6.30. If you arrive late, we will kindly ask you to wait until the bride and groom have finished their entrance to enter the ballroom. We kindly ask you to take this into consideration and arrive on time for the reception. Are my kids welcome? Although we love your kids, we are giving our guests a night of relaxation and we respectfully request no children. Then I went down and um, answered how they can RSVP, if they can bring a plus one. I added something about like what the dress code is. I don't think anyone will have a problem with the dress code, but I have a few of like my American friends coming and you know, Arabs kind of like dress up a little bit more. So I wanted to like leave that there just in case. I also answered, where can I park at the venue? Do you have a hotel block for guests? And can I bring my gift to the wedding? And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do have a minted discount code for you guys. I'm going to leave it in the description box below. Thank you so much to Minted for partnering with me this year and on today's video. Okay, moving on to our wedding guest book. I saw this all over TikTok and I've shared this with you guys on Instagram, so you might have seen this already, but I'm keeping it in this box so I can like keep it looking good. But this is a photo album from Mpix and I got it 40% off because they were having a sale. They like do discount codes regularly. So if you want to get this book, I would like create it and then leave it in your cart and just wait until you can get a discount. We're going to have guests sign it during the wedding and then we can use it as a coffee table book for our home because it's like this beautiful leather photo book and you can choose whatever color you want and I'll leave all the information for how I designed this below and like what colors everything is but I believe this is polar but it's basically like a stark white but they have a ton of colors and I added all of our save the date photos in here or not these were our engagement pictures and I put um, every other I like alternated pages so that people can sign these pages and I did do the deep matte um, uh, paper because the glossy ones I'm scared they're going to smear they would smear uh, when people wrote in them and then I don't want it to be like a complete mess I need to figure out what pen I'm gonna use for this but something that isn't like a super smeary pen so if you have any recommendations please leave them below for my comfortable wedding shoes I got them from Lulu's and I don't remember if I shared these with you guys I think I shared some that I got and they were more of like a suede like grayish color well I ended up returning those and I got these <coughs> sorry I got these and they are white, really pretty block heel and they are so comfortable. I still wanted to wear like a little heel so I'm not in flats and like everyone is so much taller than me. These are so comfortable and I actually sized down half a size. I'm usually an eight and I got a seven and a half because when I got those gray ones, I realized that they like run a little big. I'll link those down below. They're also just like a good shoe if you need a comfortable heel for anything. Okay, that's everything I have to share. So I'm gonna catch up with you guys when I'm at my bridal appointment. I'm at the <laughs> dress store and I have my dress on, but it's my sister-in-law's and cute baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing my fitting right now. It is the next day and we could not decide where to go to brunch, so we came back to the place that we always come to. Yes, weirdo. We ordered some many and it's like almost 12, so we're starving. Brunch. Yeah, basically brunch. And we picked up coffee before from Verbena Coffee. It was just close to our hotel, so we stopped there. Just got some menaish. We did half cheese, half zatar. We got some shakshuka and cucumbers, pickles, falafel, and some tea. It's a few days later, and it just got ready. It's about 8 a.m. I'm heading out to head to Dallas today. I've got the Finney walkthrough with my coordinator and last night I was like mapping out how I want the room to look for the wedding and it's kind of changed since I talked to the florist last. Originally I never wanted to do a stage but now figuring out where to put our table it only makes sense to like put it in the middle 
on a stage so we've just got to like figure that out today all right i'm about to sit down with my wedding coordinator and elisa which is the coordinator here at the venue but look guys it's so crazy this is how much space we're going to be having and then we've got it blocked off there for hopefully the food to go all in there and then this door over here is where we'll enter and it's just insane i cannot believe i just love this room so much i'm probably going to be meeting with them and just talking so i'm just going to set the camera up and let you guys like in on our meeting but it's so crazy the first like 30 minutes and then they like after that finishes i was thinking we would go kind of straight into dinner since it's already like 7 30 at this yeah. point 7 30 7 35 if it's mm -hmm. if it's 30 minutes of that dancing yeah so then we'll say stations open how long do people usually eat dinner for i mean it just depends on how <coughs> you know fast they get through yeah. the stations um i would say that budget or to allocate um, probably one hour okay just to give people an opportunity mm -hmm. right so now you're looking at about 8 30 8 35 okay. dinner or that everyone's gone through some people yeah. might still be eating but the majority of your guests will yeah. will be done okay during dinner i want to like have enough time obviously for us to eat but sure. i need to go change and then i want to take a few pictures in that dress just like around the hotel like in the elevator and yeah. in the hallway how long will it take you to change out of your dress into your second dress 20 minutes i would say 20 minutes i'm putting my hair up mm -hmm. so all i have to do is change put my hair up do you Children. want us to have any food upstairs in your changing room i would say that would be helpful because we're gonna have to what we normally do or else you just won't Okay. Yeah, no, we definitely need to have their hors d'oeuvres and then, yeah, if we could do station food while guests are cocktailing. Mm -hmm. We did that last week. It was just like small plates. We yeah. kind of serve it out like yeah. Yeah. course. That's yeah. perfect. Okay. That would be very helpful. So, yeah, so location of that cake mm -hmm. um, as well. Obviously, we, it won't be on those walls because of getting in and out mm -hmm. of the food stations. But we could do it on this back side, kind of centered, like maybe across from where your stage is. Mm -hmm. Potentially, we could do it. Um, the white wall is really pretty. Yeah, the white yeah. wall is really pretty. Um, you know, uh, there's the corner, there's the middle that has uh, the drapery that's behind it because of the windows that are there. Mm -hmm. So, or some people do it right when you walk in. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I love the white wall. I guess it's pretty. Photos. Yeah, I really, really like the white wall, and I feel like I'm not going to take pictures there, so having the cake there would be nice. Do you want to have like a signature mocktail? Yeah, we really do like that. want to do that. I just don't know like what mocktails. Do. Gosh, we did such cute mocktails at this quince recently. I, think I saw you post. Some I think I screenshotted did. them, and I found it. I don't know where this. I going. added everything into this album. Some of these were yes, so that's good. good. That's so I need to get this mini for you. Like little yeah. play on a jalapeno margarita. This was like a strawberry mojito oh, type thing. So cute. Yeah, You're so pretty. Did you do a tasting yet? We haven't done one yet. Okay. We need to schedule that. Okay. Yeah. So I guess because that's an opportunity where they can present, you know, mm -hmm. um, different fun options. Okay. Originally, I know I had mentioned to you, Crystal, that we weren't going to do a seating chart. Uh huh. But I think we're going to do a seating chart. Okay. Just because also it'll probably be easier for people just knowing where they're going yes. and right. not everybody knows everyone i don't want there to be two random seats at a table that are left just people i know i'm someone who stands there like as people walk in people prefer like the bed yes i think so too i prefer that going yeah i do too so, i do too i don't know what to do for seating chart um so if you have any ideas or like you know anyone that could make one yeah i don't know there's so uh, many templates too that we can get okay. um, off of an Etsy and just have it blown up to the appropriate size that we need. Um, with 220 guests, I would probably do two or three different signs just so you don't have 220 people all trying to look at one thing um, and kind of spread them okay. in between. Like maybe one there, one, you know, 
Mm -hmm. Here, yeah, one next to the bar area. Okay. I did like this wedding. They put that right there on like a rented table. Right, right there, like in the oh, center okay. of that.